Who said that Jesus was awesome and amazing? Who approved him? See, this was the claim. This was a problem that the Pharisees had with this individual. Um, I'm going to pick up our thought today in John 7, verse 45. It reads as follows. The officers then came to the chief priests and the Pharisees who said to them, Why did you not bring him? You see, because they asked uh, the officers to bring this guy in, but they didn't bring him. The officers answered, No one ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities of the Pharisees believed in him? <laughs> you see, this point was should have been enough for them. Like, have we believed in him? Has anyone of authority believed in him? No. So why would you believe in him? Because we don't. Isn't that a crazy kind of way of thinking? But it's such a pervasive way that we think today. I respect these individuals. What do they say about him? What do other people say about this person? If they approve him, then I will too. But if they don't, then I won't. In verse 49, but this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to him before and who was one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Search and see that no prophet arises from a Galilee. They had a problem with Jesus. Yeshua. Why? Because no one believed in him. You see, in this culture, even then, they wanted it to be popular. They wanted him to have a lot of approval, a lot of likes, a lot of uh, votes or whatever, however you want to call it. This is not a democracy, though. He could only have one view, one subscriber. He could have one hand clapping. It doesn't matter, especially if that's Yahweh. That's all that matters. And their appeal to everyone was nobody thinks anything of him. Therefore, he isn't. Guys, be careful of this thinking. Be careful of thinking that, well, if it's important, then it's popular. If it's important, it's popular. That is so far from the truth. If it's from God, then it's popular. Then it's trending. Matter of fact, it's oftentimes the opposite. Once it becomes trending and popular and catchy, if you will, it's because the world has got its hands around it. And if it had some good to it, it's been tainted at that point. So be careful in thinking that, well, if it's important, then my church is talking about it. We're putting it out there in front of everyone. Not necessarily. Well, then my school and my job, it's on the news. And no, it's not going to be this way. You know, I've been a part of religious groups where the challenge has been they will not accept any new information until the 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 authorities of that group gave it a thumbs up. I remember being in a situation where I'm presenting some new information and saying, well, we don't believe necessarily in this, but I see this in the scriptures and no one could def refute it. No one would say that's wrong. They say they, they could see that. But because the people were we looking up to someone else who was supposed to be the person of all great thought, I guess, um, no one would accept it. And what a danger it is. And one group after another, I saw this to be the case. Guys, we cannot be lazy. We cannot be um, give jettisoning our minds and giving it to someone else to do the thinking for us and saying, well, I respect everything they do and I'll follow them. We have to follow Yahshua and his word. And not be like these Pharisees who only would believe if other other Pharisees believed or other authorities believed and gave credence to. But I also want to encourage you as well with these words because some of you are doing great things. And you've been doing it for a long time, yet you have not been getting the accolades and the attention and the applause and the claps and the votes and the, whatever it is from other people. Just know Yahshua did not either. Even from the great religious people of his day who should have been lauding him and praising and worshiping him because that's what they were all about. However, even the people in his own field, in that own um, uh, a genre, if you will, did not see his significance. So hold steady. Hold your ground. Be faithful in prayer and in your action. Know that he sees you. Thank you guys for this time. May Yahweh bless you and keep you.